Hello, I'm Atu Jumir and you're watching Hornbill TV's Prime at 9. Now, news and details. Accompanied by three of his cabinet ministers, Manipur Chief Minister N. Biran Singh on Friday tendered his resignation to Governor Laga Nation. The resignation comes the day after the PJP won an absolute majority in the just-concluded assembly election in the state, bagging 32 seats in the House of 60. While the governor has accepted the resignation, he asked Singh to continue as the caretaker chief minister till the new government is formed. Even as the PJP is set to form the government in the state for the second consecutive time, it is yet to decide on who the chief minister will be. Today, uh, morning around 11.30, uh, 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 the Honorable Governor asked me to Continue as a caretaker minister, build a new process is done. Uh, I'm expecting that con constitutional provisions uh, from the party also, that the observer will become. And after date, the, all the required formality will be done accordingly. Sir, when people of Manipur can see a new government in Manipur, the date of death, sir? You see, uh, BJP alone has got full majority, 32. And uh, some political parties expected to support us. Uttarakhand Chief Minister Pushkar Singh Dhami on Friday along with the state cabinet submitted his resignation to the Governor Lieutenant General Gurmeet Singh at Raj Bhavan. As per the norms, he will continue as the caretaker CM till the new government is sworn in. Since we have received a new mandate and this tenure is complete, we gave resignation to Governor. He told me to continue until the new government is sworn in, the Chief Minister told reporters. The Bharatiya Janata Party on Thursday ducked anti-incubancy to retain power in the hill state of Uttarakhand. The first by any party to achieve the feat in the state which was carved out of the Uttar Pradesh in 2000. The Parta Janata Party won 47 seats in the 70-member assembly, 10 less than its 2017 tally. However, Pushkar Dami lost the election from the Katima seat. The Congress candidate Bhuvan Chandra Kapri defeated the sitting chief minister by more than 7,000 votes. The Congress, which was seeking return to power, finished with 19 seats. Its tallest leader, Harish Rava, too, lost from Lal Khan seat. Besides Uttarakhand, the Parthi Janata Party retained Uttar Pradesh, Goa and Manipur. Now, if there is a support for Samarthan, then there is no problem with Samarthan. So, I think that it is unconditional Samarthan. But you are saying that they have been उन्होंने चुनाव से पहले हमें डैमेज किया है ऐसे उनको सामने नहीं किया जाना चाहिए और जब की जरूरत नहीं नहीं ये देखो ये ये पूरा ये है हम भारतीय जनता पार्टी नेशनल पार्टी तो इसके लिए जो भी कुछ रहेगा हमारे नेशनल लीडर तय करेंगे कि इसके बारे में जो होता है इसके बारे में कौन किसी को लेना है किसको न हमारे नेशनल लीडर वो करेंगे जो भी कुछ करना है वो Co-Chief Chief Minister Pramod Savan, whose party PJP won 20 of the State Assembly's 40 seats, convened a cabinet meeting on Friday, during which a resolution was passed to dissolve the Assembly. According to Savan, the cabinet also passed a resolution appreciating the people of Goa for the support since Savan entered office in 2019. Talking to the media after the meeting, Transport Minister Marvin Kudino said that a new PJP-led government would be in place in Goa in the next 20 to 3 days. Next two to three days, Godinho stated that a choice on the future chief minister will be made following meeting with a representative of the PJP's top decision-making body, the Central Parliamentary Board, who will be visiting the state shortly. He further said that he had no idea when the Central PJP official will come to Goa. Last cabinet, we have to one to everyone, because in three years of tenure, जो हमने आभार व्यक्त करने के लिए जो काम किया उसने लोगों ने सहकार्य किया इसलिए उनसे आभार व्यक्त किया और दूसरा रेजोल्यूशन जो हमारे असेंबली का टेन्यूअर जो खत्म हो रहा है उसके लिए 14 तारीख को असेंबली डिजॉल्व का रेजोल्यूशन जो लिया 
वो सेकेंड रेजोल्यूशन था टिल नाउ इट इज नॉट डिसाइडेड सेंट्रल पार्टी ऑब्जर्वर जो कोई आएगा तब डिसाइड हो जाएगा क्या दस साल में लोगों ने क्या चॉइस करके इतना मेजोरिटी दिया आपकी मैं इतना बताऊंगा माननीय मोदी जी के जो मोदी जी के लीडरशिप के अंडर जो आठ साल में यहाँ पे डेवलपमेंट हो गई है और भारतीय जनता पार्टी के दस साल में जो काम किया और खास करके माननीय मोदी जी के इस कोविड कार्यकाल में आत्मनिर्भर भारत मिशन जो हमें गोवा में स्वयंपूर्ण गोवा पर के जो मिशन चलाया उसका फायदा हमें डेफिनेटली तो मिला Charanjit Chani submits his resignation as the Chief Minister of Punjab to the government. We will always be there to serve the people of Punjab. We will continue to fulfill our duties and be among them. I request the new government to continue the public welfare project and schemes that we introduced in the last 111 days. Outgoing Punjab Chief Minister Charanjit Singh Chani said after tendering his resignation to the governor in Chandigarh. The PJP on Thursday registered a resounding victory in Uttar Pradesh, Manipur and Uttarakhand and looked set to form the government in Goa as well with the support of independence after falling short of the majority mark by one seat. In Punjab, however, the AAP swept the polls winning 90 seats of the 117 seats. In Tsunami, the people who were going to Tsunami were going to go to Tsunami. In the middle of the Punjab, the people who were going to Tsunami were going to Tsunami. पर पंजाब से खास तौर से किसानों के मन में जो गुस्सा था वो गुस्सा इस इलेक्शन में रिफेक हुआ और इसलिए वहाँ लोगों ने बीजेपी को हराया कांग्रेस को हराया और एक नए पार्टी को मौका देने के लिए उन्होंने अपना निश्चय ले लिया और हुकूमत आपके हाथ में देगी Farmer Union leader Rakesh Tikaid on Friday welcomed the results of the 2022 assembly elections in five states, saying that the decision of the people is paramount. In the great festival of democracy, the decision of the people is paramount. The farmers' movement showed its effect. We hope that all the governments that have been formed will work for and to uplift farmers and laborers in their respective states. Congratulations to all on the victory, Tikaid tweeted in Hindi. Tikait's Partha Kisan Union is a part of the Sanyukt Kisan Morcha that spearheaded the year-long farmers' protests along the borders of Delhi and western Uttar Pradesh. The farmer leader had been vocal against the Partha Janata Party, which he had supported in the 2017 assembly elections and the 2019 Lok Sabha polls. Punjab's Chief Minister designate Bhagwan Man will take oath for the top job on March 16. The 48 year old comedian turned politician had yesterday said that his oath taking ceremony will not be held at Raj Bhavan as is the custom, but Kadra Kala Kalan in Navan Shar district, the ancestral village of freedom fighter Bhagat Singh. The Ahmadmi Party Chief Ministerial Candidate met with Party Chief Arvind Kejwal today for the first time after an unprecedented win in the state assembly polls yesterday. The duo has a roadshow scheduled in Amritsar on March 13. He has invited Kejwal to his swearing-in ceremony. Our national convener, who has made a party, I'm going to meet them, I'm going to tell them, and after that, we'll work in Punjab. कल कर लेंगे परसों कर लेंगे हमारे वालों को राजस्थान जा कहीं लेके जाने की जरूरत नहीं है हमारे वाले सभी ईमानदार हैं हाँ जी खटखड़ कला में खटखड़ कला में ओथ लेंगे भगत सिंह जी के गांव में पैथरी गांव में बहुत अच्छा लग गया कि लोग का ने हंकारी लोग का ने हराया और लोग का ने आम लोग का ने जिताया कल नू मैं गवर्नर साहब नू मिलूंगा ते उस तो बाद ओथ सरमनी हो जोगी ते उस तो बाद काम शुरू हो जाएगा पंजाब Man AAP's lone MP contested the state polls from Duri and Assembly segment in Sangruri. 
parliamentary constituency winning by a margin of over 58,000 against Dalvir Singh Goldi from Congress. This was his third battle for an assembly seat. He unsuccessfully contested the 2017 assembly polls against Akali Dal's Sukhbir Singh Badal for Jaladabad seat. In 2011, he had contested from the Lera assembly constituency in Sangrur as the Manpreet Singh Badal led People's Party of Punjab candidate but lost to senior Congress leader Rajendra Kaur Badal. Delhi Chief Minister Avan Kejriwal on March 11 claimed that central government planning for unifying three civic bodies is an excuse to postpone municipal cooperation of Delhi elections. He also added that cancelling elections weakens the role of state election commission and the country. Addressing a press conference, he said that date for municipal cooperation of Delhi polls was to be announced at 5 p.m. on March 9 by the same day and hour ago. The centre wrote to the state election commission to combine all three civic bodies into one and that polls should be delayed. Election Commission agreed to do so. Not okay if polls are cancelled. Weakens the EC's role, he said. Nine Delhi Chunaav Aayog hai State Election Commission hai Delhi ka. Unho ne subay subay ek press invitation bheja ki aaj shaam ko paanch baje Chunaav Aayog MCD ke Chunaavon ki tarikh का ऐलान करेगा डेट से ऐलान करेगा किस तारीख को नॉमिनेशन होगा किस तारीख को विड्रॉ किया जा सकता है चुनाव किस तारीख को होंगे शाम को पांच बजे चुनावों का ऐलान होना था तारीखों का ऐलान होना था चार बजे उसके एक घंटा पहले केंद्र सरकार ने चुनाव आयोग को चिट्ठी लिखी कि हम दिल्ली के तीनों नगर निगमों को एक साथ एक नगर निगम बनाने जा रहे हैं After PJP's victory in four states, Prime Minister Narendra Modi on March 10 said that he can envision PJP emerging as a force to reckon with in Punjab. PM Modi elaborated that PJP workers in Punjab have made the party and flag proud with their work in Punjab despite difficult circumstances. मैं आज पंजाब के भाजपा कार्यकर्ताओं की भी विशेष प्रशंसा करूंगा। उन्होंने विपरीत परिस्थितियों में जिस प्रकार पार्टी का झंडा बुलंद किया है, वो आने वाले समय में पंजाब में भाजपा की मजबूती को देश की मजबूती को एक अहम स्थान के रूप में विकसित करेंगे ये मेरा पूरा विश्वास है सीमावर्ती राज्य होने के नाते पंजाब को अलगाववादी राजनीति से सतर्क रखना भाजपा का कार्यकर्ता जान की बाजी लगा करके भी इस काम को करता रहेगा Nationalist Congress Party President Sharad Pawar said that a new party was elected in Punjab because of anger among farmers against the PJP. The anger in the minds of the farmers of Punjab was reflected in this election and hence people there defeated PJP Congress and decided to give a chance to a new party, said NCP Chief Sharad Pawar. In the Punjab, there is a lot of people who are living in the world. In Punjab, there is a lot of people who are living in the world. In the world, there is a lot of people who are living और एक नए पार्टी को मौका देने के लिए उन्होंने अपना डिसीजन लिया और हुकूमत 
The new minister saw Bananda Sonowal on March 10 credited Prime Minister Narendra Modi for victory in four out of five states where assembly elections were held. The reason for the victory achieved by the PJP today is that the Prime Minister worked to take the country forward on the path of development. Under the leadership of Modi ji, the self-respect of the country and the country is safe. The people of the country have again given place to Modi ji in their hearts. He ensured good governance, said Sir Bananda Sonowal. आज जो जीत हासिल हुई है भारतीय जनता पार्टी की इसका मूल कारण यही है कि देश के आदर्शवादी नेता मजबूत नेता निष्ठावान ईमानदार नेता प्रधानमंत्री नरेंद्र मोदी जी ने देश को विकास की रास्ते पर जोर से आगे बढ़ाने का काम किया है और मोदी जी के नेतृत्व में आज देश सुरक्षित है देश का जनता सुरक्षित है देश का स्वाभिमान सुरक्षित है अपने जीवन को मर्यादा पूर्वक आगे बढ़ाने के लिए मौका मिला है Amid the Ukraine-Russia crisis, the United States announced $50 million more to assist with the humanitarian aid which will be given through the United Nations World Food Program. U.S. Vice President Kamala Harris said the U.S. will give another $50 million through the U.N.'s World Food Program to assist with humanitarian aid. So today we are also announcing in pursuit of what must happen, which is to provide humanitarian assistance, that we will give another $50 million, the United States will, through the UN's World Food Program, to assist with humanitarian aid. The President and I also talked about the fact that, as he mentioned, Poland has taken, in just a very short period of time, in excess of one and a half million refugees in from Ukraine. And that has put an extraordinary burden on Poland and the people of Poland. And so we will continue with the support that we can give you, Mr. President, in terms of the work that you and the people of Poland have been doing to bear um, this burden, but in a way that really has been with such grace. City bus service in Dimapur came as a relief to commuters, especially the students' community. However, due to no proper bus stand and timetable, passengers are confused and many fail to avail the service. Hornwell TV, after survey with commuters and students, interviewed the Assistant General Manager of Nagaland State Transport Dimapur, Mitsiviko Miyase, to know more about the issue. Let's have a look at a detailed report. Dimapur is city bus to the Kinebane to BC rate to come the fair passengers can garner. Holy be Amican Hornbill TV and Jani Paise, passengers can do le city bus Dimapurde. Uniform bus topech Nathaga Garne, our timing, timetable to tick Nathaga Garne, Takan Bishi Duke Pai Taguna, and specially students can. Kinebane students can do le, but auto fair Bishi Pegagarnet and Duke Pai Taguna, Amican Jani Paise. To as your Hornbill TV Amican. Dimapur District Laga, NST Laga, Nagaland State Transport Laga, AGM, Assistant General Manager, Lord Aiganase, Tailanam Tule, Metsiviko, Miasiase, I will tell you to Kotan Janibo. City buses to Itia bus then it is interrelated. The question is interrelated. Because of non availability of bus stands, so the bus drivers have to stop at regular intervals so to pick the passengers. So it is limited timing to a lot of delay. Plus, Mohan Sob Janiya said, Dimapur district is a traffic jam, traffic congestion to be sure. The main due to two reasons to me that non availability of bus stops and then traffic congestions plus passengers can get a book. You know, there are other side of the city. So, it's a American Janiya with the bus 10 to the key garne and you are nine months old. And it's deeper Dimapur. Well, uh, this is not the first uh, time it is all uh, protracted with us, bus 10 to. We knew the grievances of the public, so we initiated uh, a joint survey. We requested the uh, road in, uh, safety inform, uh, uh, enforcement agency, the DCP traffic, and then we went for a joint survey, the department and the uh, traffic. But unfortunately, it a road survey jadam de we studied. 18 locations from Dimapur to Chumukidima and 18 locations from Chumukidima to Dimapur. 
So of all the 36 uh, designated stoppage uh, aimed for survey, we can act be feasible no way So the reason being the area meant for parking of buses is very narrow from Purana Bazar to Chumukidima. So if they uh, authorize bus stands, the half of the body of the bus or for that matter, matter any vehicle will lie on the carriageway. So carriageway the IG do it will compromise the safety of the road users. Aro plus traffic congestion them the rush hour them they do traffic jam bi hui jao. Idu nim de ta kan idu not feasible kui na report to lai. To ita do li ani kai chulai na jai thakbo nikhe na kiba bhawa na do li kina se. Well department do idu idu do public importance laga issue ekta do chup chup thakbo le na pare. Idu nim de although the report the joint survey report turned out negative we are still pursuing the matter with the higher authority. Okay, so coming back to now pink bus at the pink bus to introduce kura to female passengers can go to this bus to will be it me can female passengers can to the pink bus demand that can we know the reason pink bus is actually meant for ladies but in our nagaland context maybe the main one reason may be because the ladies feel safe in nagaland ek tab reason bi ho pare the other reasons being uh it nagaland do Say if someone goes for shopping or if someone if a student goes to school while returning back, they can my kibi mota bi kilo de thagi jai friends na na holi bi shopping jab mende my kibi mota jabo na holi do amar o bacha mota bi thagi jai to idu mende ekta eki logo de jabo le mon thagi jai thakan na idu ni mende idu pink bus issue kuli do mota do uti bolle na pareyo jai idu idu factor ekta thagi jai. Idu ni mida ame kan lady passenger to come to je. To passengers come to je kuli do ame kan anyhow fuel do consume kuli je. Idu ni mida ame kan be we have to be accountable. So idu dikdar hui je. We have to earn revenue. Na side by side mohan welfare we dia je but side by side wealth revenue we kama wala ge. Idu ni mida main reason to us. Okay for all the viewers of Hornbill TV na ekta message di bolle mohan thaga do. See, sooner or later, public transportation is going to gain more importance. I mean, students can be so generous with rising fuel prices, ektaze, plus ekta do kiko ba traffic congestion aze, and then ekta do environmental concerns with regard to emission of carbon dioxide. Na public transportation do do sob ni mide ekta solution ektaze. तो जो निमित्त है, students can इतिहा इतिहा बारे शुरू करें निश्चित ना जाएं मेकन bus service कंडो, अलग भाव बारे चलिया दो इतने निमित्त है, please आप निकान इतु service to avail करेंगे, मगर ना rate भी बिशु कम थी ऐसे, zero to five kilometers to rupees ten, five to ten kilometers to rupees twenty, and then ten to fifteen kilometers rupees thirty ऐने का ऐसे, so maximum rupees thirty charge करें ऐसे, and when you board the bus, please insist on tickets. Tickets di sini kuli kami kan revenue paya sih. Aku ni kan tiket nadi sini kuli itu pil fridge, jai jasa. Jadi ni mida tickets tu insist kuli. Aku ni kan revenue mukan kita di sini kuli mukan service bal bala di bawah paya aku ni angge. Itu aja message tu. Thank you. Kami kan itu city bus support eh kota jenis eh AGM load. So kami kan itu report tu le NST di mampu berlalu aja with camera person Pankaj. My reporter Jivan Ray for Hornbill TV. Wozero Range Public Organization today celebrates the 25th year of Extra Assistant Commissioner Headquarters in Woz Huro. Speaking at the program, MLA Dr. Chumben Muri said, Though the people of the range may have been deprived of various infrastructures and development, yet in the recent years, many developments have come up in various aspects like education, road, water and health sector. He was optimistic that with the formation of collective government, United Democratic Alliance government, the area will witness more development soon. He said Jubilee is a time to retrospect on how and what level of society is progressing while it is a time to correct oneself from the past mistake jubilee is also a time to celebrate the achievements made over the years he added further murray 
urged the community to utilize the available resources judicially and master the art of living through farming. Rantang Lota, Deputy Commissioner, in his greeting said that though the government does not celebrate the Jubilee for government establishments in existence, yet appreciated the WRPO for coming forward in unity to commemorate. He called upon the gathering to leave aside religion and social differences and leave in unity with humanitarian approach. Additional Secretary of Director, Science and Technology, Wunchio Odio, highlighted the history of EAC headquarters was Huro. Short speeches were delivered by area leaders. Earlier, Jubilee monolith was unveiled by Muri and dedicated by Pastor Shaki Baptist Church, Libenta. That's all we have for now. Keep watching Humble TV.